Are you looking to trigger strobe lights in Unreal Engine using MIDI from instruments and software such as Ableton Live, Keystrokes, or some other form of input? Well, no worries. With some custom Macs for Live devices, or a plugin that converts your MIDI data into OSC data for Unreal, some blueprint templates, and basic blueprint scripting, you too can have a MIDI-based light show as controlled by every instrumental variable in your music project. Links for the resources used in this tutorial will be in the description below. First step, let's create an exponential height fog. This is helpful as it will allow us to get the shafts of light coming off of the lights themselves. Next, enable volumetric fog and then dial in the fog density to whatever works best for you in your scene. As for the blueprint, add whatever light you'd like to start with. I'll be using a spotlight for this example. Once that's all set up, let's start by importing part of the OSC blueprint template that I had mentioned earlier. Since this blueprint will be focusing on a MIDI triggered example, I'll be choosing that as opposed to the envelope follower or macro option that's also available. Be sure to copy over the relevant variables from the template so you can link the blueprint to the OSC router as well as enter in the correct MIDI channel, note values, etc. More info on these blueprint templates can be found on the SEM and TRIS AV channel or in my previous tutorials. Once that first part is set up, create a timeline node. Open that up and add a float track. Name this float track Light Intensity and set the length to 1. From here, draw in the envelope shape you wish to have your light turn on and off with. Back in the blueprint, drag the timeline component into the blueprint. Off of the timeline component, add a set play rate node, which will reside between the branch and timeline node. Add a new variable, make it a float, name it play rate, and then finally click on the eye icon so it will be exposed on the outside of the blueprint. This will allow us to freely alter the length of the strobe without having to come back into the blueprint editor. From here, drag the play rate variable into the blueprint and connect it to the new rate input on the set play rate node. Compile the blueprint, then click on the play rate object and set the default value to however long you wish the strobe to go on for. For my example, I'll set it to 4, so the entirety of the strobe cycle is 0.25 seconds long. With the timeline portion all set up, add a spotlight component into the blueprint. Drag off of the update output on the timeline node, and then type in set intensity, and choose the option with spotlight in parentheses at the end. Coming off the timeline node's light intensity output, add a multiplication node. Create another variable and set it to float. Name it light intensity, enable the eye icon so it's exposed on the outside of the blueprint, and then drag that into the blueprint editor. Compile the blueprint again, connect it to the other multiplication input, and then set the default value to whatever you think would work the best. In my case, I'll set it to 1 million. With this setup, you should now be able to control the emissive intensity value of your spotlight, rectangle light, etc. But what if you want to alter the value of the emissive textures as well? No worries. That's easy enough to add on. Open up the material to your lamp, hold down S, and left click to create a param node. Name it Emissive Intensity. Drag off the output and create a multiply node. Next, type in param and get the color picker node option. Attach this to another multiply node alongside whatever emissive texture you may be using for your lights. Take the output of that multiply node and connect it to the remaining input on the other multiply node alongside the emissive intensity node. Take the final output of the emissive setup and plug it into the emissive input on the master material node. With the material set up and labeled, hop back over to the blueprint and drag off of the set intensity node and type in set scalar parameter value on materials. This node is what will allow us to modulate the intensity of the emissive material on the spotlight. 
drag the lamp component into the blueprint and connect it to the target input on the set scalar parameter value on materials node. Name the parameter type to emissive intensity as we named back in the material. Then drag off of the timeline's light intensity, add a multiplication node, and then plug it into parameter value on the set scalar parameter value on materials node. Then let's create one more variable. Make it a float, name it emissive intensity, enable the eye icon, and then drag the variable into the blueprint. Compile the blueprint, connect it to the multiplication input, and then set the default value to something like 1. With all that set up, you should now be able to trigger a strobe light in Unreal Engine using your musical instruments via a MIDI to OSC workflow. I hope this tutorial has inspired you to experiment with your own reactive visualizers in Unreal Engine. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on future content. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.